In this video, let's take a look at some additional features and timing to help you get even more out of the application. To begin with, I'm going to go over to the details view. Once you click on this, you'll see that for each project, you've got a bunch of details available uh, for all the time logged against each project. And these are all expandable. For instance, under media, if I click on the disclosure triangle next to Safari, you'll see that I'll get a list of the exact URLs that I was looking to and have been attributed to media. This is a great screen to get into the nitty gritty. Also, timing has some very powerful reporting features under the report tab. With this, you can go over to the report settings. They've got a bunch of presets. For instance, I'm gonna do the ultra detailed report. And once I'm done, I'm gonna have it export that to Excel format. I'll just press the export button and put that on my desktop. And then I've got a detailed report showing all of my timing data in Excel. Additional timing features can be found in the menu bar where you can see you can get information about the application and the preferences we're about to discuss. The view options allows you to jump to specific views in the application, including toggling between the overview, review details and report screens, or even getting specific views of your data. For example, if you wanna see seven days, you just click on that and we can then go over to the application and get the overview screen and you'll see that it's listing you for the last seven days. You can also adjust those up here in the application screen. Just click on the center button here and then look on date range and you can change them again. I'm going to, for example, look at the last 30 days. And there it is. And finally, let's take a look at the timing preferences. I'm gonna access them by hitting command comma, the shortcut. Under the general preferences, you can set when your day usually starts and have timing hide short activities to reduce clutter. There's a lot of customization for the menu bar so you can make it do exactly what you want. This is one worth spending some time on. You can include specific calendars if you want. You can see I've got my timing calendar checked off here. You can even set the rule order, which might affect which project timing automatically categorizes an activity into. You can blacklist specific app activities that don't get tracked if you want. And with timing, you've got the ability to enable synchronization. This is great, especially if you have two Macs, like you've got an iMac and a laptop. That way you can synchronize the data between the two and you don't lose track of any time. I also think it's really helpful just as a backup because once you sync your data to the timing cloud, you can always restore it if your device goes down. To enable that, just tap on the enable timing sync and then you'll fill out some data and you'll be good to go. For a long time, I was trying to do time tracking and the trouble I had was any application that required me to manually turn it off and on just never worked because I'd forget and I'd end up with bad data. As soon as I started using timing, I learned things about my work habits and where I was spending my time. Automatic time tracking with timing on your Mac just solves the problem. I hope this video series has helped you get a little better at the application and made you more productive in turn. Thank you.